The mystery of human existence lies not in just staying alive, but in finding something to live for. The darker the night, the brighter the stars, the deeper the grief, the closer is God. Pain and suffering are always inevitable for a large intelligence and a deep heart. The really great men must, I think, have great sadness on earth. A man who lies to himself, and believes his own lies becomes unable to recognize truth, either in himself or in anyone else, and he ends up losing respect for himself and for others. When he has no respect for anyone, he can no longer love, and, in order to divert himself, having no love in him, he yields to his impulses, indulges in the lowest forms of pleasure, and behaves in the end like an animal. And it all comes from lying, lying to others and to yourself. Nothing in this world is harder than speaking the truth, nothing easier than flattery. When I look back on my past and think how much time I wasted on nothing, how much time has been lost in futilities, errors, laziness, incapacity to live, how little I appreciated it, how many times I sinned against my heart and soul then my heart bleeds. Life is a gift, life is happiness, every minute can be an eternity of happiness. For broad understanding and deep feeling, you need pain and suffering. Everything passes, only truth remains. For what is man without desires, without free will, and without the power of choice but a stop in an organ pipe? Love the animals, love the plants, love everything. If you love everything, you will perceive the divine mystery in things. Once you perceive it, you will begin to comprehend it better every day and you will come at last to love the whole world with an all-embracing love. If you want to overcome the whole world, overcome yourself. I gave up caring about anything, and all the problems disappeared. It takes something more than intelligence to act intelligently. The best way to keep a prisoner from escaping is to make sure he never knows he's in prison. Only through suffering can we find ourselves. You will burn and you will burn out, you will be healed and come back again. Obedience, fasting, and prayer are laughed at, yet only through them lies the way to real true freedom. I cut off my superfluous and unnecessary desires, I subdue my proud and wanton will and chastise it with obedience, and with God's help I attain freedom of spirit and with it spiritual joy. What is hell? I maintain that it is the suffering of being unable to love. Suffering is part and parcel of extensive intelligence and a feeling heart. But how could you live and have no story to tell? A society should be judged not by how it treats its outstanding citizens but by how it treats its criminals. Above all, avoid falsehood, every kind of falsehood, especially falseness to yourself. Watch over your own deceitfulness and look into it every hour, every minute. I think the devil doesn't exist, but man has created him, he has created him in his own image and likeness. A hundred suspicions don't make a proof. I don't need money, or, better, it's not money that I need, it's not even power, I need only what is obtained by power and simply cannot be obtained without power, the solitary and calm awareness of strength. That is the fullest definition of freedom, which the world so struggles over. Never mind a little dirt if the goal is splendid. Above all, don't lie to yourself. The man who lies to himself and listens to his own lie comes to a point that he cannot distinguish the truth within him, or around him, and so loses all respect for himself and for others. 
and having no respect he ceases to love. Whoever has experienced the power and the unrestrained ability to humiliate another human being automatically loses his own sensations. Tyranny is a habit, it has its own organic life, it develops finally into a disease. The habit can kill and coarsen the very best man or woman to the level of a beast. Blood and power intoxicate, the return of the human dignity, repentance and regeneration becomes almost impossible. Learning to love is hard and we pay dearly for it. It takes hard work and a long apprenticeship, for it is not just for a moment that we must learn to love, but forever. Only one thing matters, one thing, to be able to dare. Only the heart knows how to find what is precious. To begin with unlimited freedom is to end with unlimited despotism. The world says, you have needs, satisfy them. You have as much right as the rich and the mighty. Don't hesitate to satisfy your needs, indeed, expand your needs and demand more. This is the worldly doctrine of today. And they believe that this is freedom. The result for the rich is isolation and suicide, for the poor, envy, and murder. You are told a lot about your education, but some beautiful, sacred memory, preserved since childhood, is perhaps the best education of all. If a man carries many such memories into life with him, he is saved for the rest of his days. And even if only one good memory is left in our hearts, it may also be the instrument of our salvation one day. My soul bleeds and the blood steadily, silently, disturbingly slowly, swallows me whole. To love another person is to see them as God intended them to be. To be in love is not the same as loving. You can be in love with a woman and still hate her. The most offensive is not their lying, one can always forgive lying, lying is a delightful thing, for it leads to truth, what is offensive is that they lie and worship their own lying. Humanity can live without science, it can live without bread, but it cannot live without beauty. Without beauty, there would be nothing left to do in this life. Here the secret lies. Here lies the entire story. If you want to be respected by others, the great thing is to respect yourself. Only by that, only by self-respect will you compel others to respect you. The more you succeed in loving, the more you'll be convinced of the existence of God and the immortality of your soul. Nothing is easier than to denounce the evildoer, nothing is more difficult than to understand him. If you wish to glimpse inside a human soul and get to know a man, just watch him laugh. If he laughs well, he's a good man. Man is sometimes extraordinarily, passionately, in love with suffering. Every blade of grass, every insect, ant, and golden bee, also amazingly know their path, though they have not intelligence, they bear witness to the mystery of God and continually accomplish it themselves. The world will be saved by beauty. Nature doesn't ask your permission, it doesn't care about your wishes, or whether you like its laws or not. You're obliged to accept it as it is, and consequently all its results as well. The more incompetent one feels, the more eager he is to fight. If everything on earth were rational, nothing would happen. Wealth is the number of things one can do without. The greatest happiness is to know the source of unhappiness. Man has it all in his hands, and it all slips through his fingers from sheer cowardice. What would life be if we had no courage to attempt anything? Taking a new step, uttering a new word, is what people fear most. The cleverest of all, in my opinion, 
is the man who calls himself a fool at least once a month. To think too much is a disease. The soul is healed by being with children. Destroy my desires, eradicate my ideals, show me something better, and I will follow you. Don't be overwise, fling yourself straight into life, without deliberation, don't be afraid, the flood will bear you to the bank and set you safe on your feet again. Totally without hope one cannot live. To live without hope is to cease to live. Hell is hopelessness. It is no accident that above the entrance to Dante's hell is the inscription, leave behind all hope, you who enter here. There is immeasurably more left inside than what comes out in words. The man who lies to himself can be more easily offended than anyone else. You know it is sometimes very pleasant to take offense, isn't it? A man may know that nobody has insulted him, but that he has invented the insult for himself, has lied and exaggerated to make it picturesque, has caught at a word and made a mountain out of a molehill he knows that himself, yet he will be the first to take offense, and will revel in his resentment till he feels great pleasure in it. If God does not exist, then everything is permissible. Which quote did you like the most? Share your opinion in the comments below. Subscribe and don't miss out the chance to see the next video.